Now I've returned to this tank to give it a clean. Now you'll notice that the fish are all hiding a lot. So this angel has come out to say hello. But as far as fish hiding is concerned, um, that's really common when there's not enough fish in the tank. So I'd really recommend adding some extra fish to this tank because when there's not many fish around to the fish, that means that there's danger. Whereas if you populate the tank up a bit more, the fish feel a lot safer and they're much more likely to swim around. Last time I cleaned this filter, it was super dirty. So hopefully giving it a clean out this time will be a massive improvement. It's really important that the filter is cleaned on a semi-regular basis because as you can see, all this garbage has been dumped into the filter in just a couple of weeks since last time I was here. It's a good clean out now. Now this is poly filter, this stuff. So you can see that it's gone from white to like a brown color. Once it turns to black, then it's done. Now, last time I cleaned this filter, it was absolutely dirty as hell. Now it's actually relatively clean. And you can see the poly filter's done a wonderful job just polishing up the water. Now, it's obviously had a bit of back work to do because it's gone brown relatively quickly. Once this turns black, I'd recommend replacing the poly filter with more real poly filter. And then you should find that your aquarium will really stay a lot cleaner. Now this tank has a very prized seven salmon red rainbow fish. Now a coloured rainbow fish is an absolutely beautiful fish. There are many species of rainbows from Australia and New Guinea and when they're in full colour they're absolutely spectacular but you do have to wait quite a while for their colour to mature and they can be a very disappointing fish because if anything does go wrong with the aquarium particularly in reference to being susceptible to bacterial infections and things, they're always the first one to go. So if you are doing anything with the aquarium, um, doing things like adding Vugal is a really good idea because Vugal is an artificial immune booster. And also having various medications on hand tend to be quite a good idea. Um, particularly with a fish like this, they get bacterial infections really easily. So having like an antibiotic or something on hand because most of these issues, if treated quickly, are really not a big problem. But a lot of these issues, if allowed to um, get worse, become a big problem. So having antibacterial and antiparasitic medication on hand is a really good idea. So now I'm just doing another gravel clean. So I'm just pushing the gravel cleaner into the gravel and then making sure that the gravel falls back down clean and then any dirty water gets sucked out and goes down into my bucket because I'm wanting to remove any dirty water out of the gravel and I'm really not wanting to just take clean water off the surface because I'll get better value for my water change by taking dirty water out of the bottom and then replacing nice clean water. So now I'm going to give the glass a bit of a clean but if this was my tank there's no way that I wouldn't have a flipper or like an effective algae magnet. Because you find with this algae, when it's well established, it's a really a pain in the neck to get off the glass. Whereas if you're doing it regularly with a flipper, you'll find that um, it's really quick and it's really easy. But when you don't do it regularly, the algae gets much more stubborn and it's much harder to clean. It's really important that your fish can eat all the food in 30 seconds. Um, now because of the reflection, I'm having trouble showing you this because everything's reflecting but there's lots of food just in this back corner. Um, so we really want to be watching the fish getting fed because that's gone super dirty and we want to just make sure that the fish eat all the food in 30 seconds. Um, the fish actually don't look fat but we don't want to have rotting food in here if possible. So bits like rotting food like that are really not ideal for the tank. So we're really wanting to try and see if all the food gets eaten in 30 seconds to avoid rotting. What we recommend happening as well is um, over time the ornaments start looking a bit tired. And if you chuck them in the sun for a day, then flip them over, leave them in the sun for a day, you'll find the algae will dry up in the sun and you get a little bit more life out of these um, ornaments. The rock and the fake plants, 
I'd have them in the sun for a couple of days and I'd be you might be surprised how well they come up. So you find these ornaments look good for a couple of years and after a while they just look tired. So the sun will revive them a bit, but when they are a bit haggard, don't be afraid to replace them because when you do swap around what's in the tank, then that's the fish's world and you give them a whole new world to um, explore. It makes it more interesting for you and the for the fish. The tank has been very stubborn. So using the razor blade flipper would be great. And also cleaning the glass above the light is also a really good um, option. Keep that nice and clean. And the less the light's on, the less algae you're gonna get in the tank, particularly considering there's no live plants. So the water in here isn't really ideal. Um, the KH is 3.5, which is fairly low for some of the fish that are in here. The KH is 13, which is pretty good. Um, the pH is a little bit on the low side, which is not good for the fish that are in here. Um, phosphate's a little bit high. There's a tiny bit of ammonia, which might have something to do with how dirty the filter was last time I cleaned it. And the nitrate is 30. So the fact that we did a water change is definitely going to help today. But um, I'm not going to want to raise the pH because there's ammonia in the water. This water change should have helped. And... Um, You've got to be very careful raising pH when there is ammonia. So the water should be much better after this water change, but getting another water test in the week or so is really going to be a good idea because I really want to keep an eye on that pH, KH, and definitely that ammonia. I'll put in a larger dose of water ager right now to detoxify that ammonia. I'm not really worried about it, but um, after that big filter clean the other week, some regular water changes is going to be a good thing just to stabilize this ammonia. Make sure we add some water ager to any new water to take out the chlorine and chloramone. Now, because there's just a little bit of ammonia in this tank, I'm also going to add a generous dose of this to the actual aquarium itself. And I'm going to recommend that in the future, because this tank has a mix of fish, it's got angels, which actually are Amazon fish. So they would really like the Amazon KH and GH, but this tank has also got African cichlids and the African cichlids would like an African or a general GH and KH. So the issue here is that we've got acidic water fish with alkaline water fish. And I find that the acidic water fish tend to be um, more tolerant of alkaline water than alkaline water fish are tolerant of um, acidic water. So these products here are very good for the angelfish. And this tank obviously had plants in it because it's got plant supplements as well. But now that you've got some cichlids in here, I would tend to want to use the least um, general KH and then maybe look at, say, the tropical um, GH. Well, definitely once this ran out, but these products here are not perfect for the electric yellows and they are good for the angels. And if I had to, I would make the water more right for the angels, oh, sorry, the, um, the electric yellows, because I'll find that the angels tend to be more tolerant. The has been cleaned, the water has been tested, the water has been changed, the gravel has been cleaned. Um, we're all good now. Um, I would like to see a razor magnet cleaner. I think that would make the job easier. And I'd like to see a retest ASAP because I would like some of these levels to be monitored. And regular water changes for now are going to be a good thing. And then when the water's right, I would recommend adding some extra fish. And I really would like to try and make sure the food is getting eaten because when I disturb the back here... Quite a lot of uneaten food did arrive and we've got to make sure that strainer that goes into the filter stays quite clean because that was quite clogged up with food. So all in all, fish are all fine.